Alright guys, um, yeah, so, I wanted to, um, <clears throat> I wanted to show this, uh, Kakag with treatment, if, if you don't know what Kakag means, basically means, do that 10 wins straight, at King Games, run the table, for instance, that's the best way to explore that, the best way to say it, um, so if we're looking at this, the build I run, to start out with two master, master, is a really good card, especially with Floodgate and Kanadia, because you want to flip their monsters down and then use Master to kind of get rid of them. Um, so, for example, some things you may want to get rid of is let's say they have set machine mon dark machine monsters, you want to destroy them before um, they can trigger Desperado. You might want to destroy them face down if you do not have King Gollum on the field at the time, but obviously King Gollum is best in that situation. Um, you know, you might find you may want to put other monsters while they're face down, just so that way they don't get to trigger their effect. If they were flipped, if you don't have King Gollum on the field, but mainly you will use him to destroy um, some key face down monsters in back row. Uh, next is the most important monster, Hunter. Hunter is very important because it allows you to get two monsters on the field and really cycle through your field spells very quickly. Alright, so really good. Really good part of Rome. Next we have Queen of Dancer. Dancer is really, really good. Um, just bumping your monsters up. And you really need to make sure that you're using your resources correctly to be able to survive long enough to do that. Next we'll follow up with three Cruiser, three King Golem, and two Fortress. Now I chose to play eight field spells. The reason why is I want to make sure late game I'm drawing into my back row. And also, that with running 7 back row, I'm guaranteed a trap card in my hand. Okay, so you want to at least run um, 7 traps, so that way you guarantee the trap in your opening hand. That's my opinion on it. And it does help getting Floodgate. If you go first, Floodgate Chapel is really good. Because Floodgate allows you to flip down Vendred, and Kanadi can be good against them too early. And that's the best way to deal with it, in my opinion. Um, you could run Mirror Wall. Mirror Wall is another great tech and damage because you are allowed to, um, you know, play it when you have like King Gollum. That way, if they swing in, then then they cannot activate their effect when they attack. So Mirror Wall is a very good situation card for that. Good card for that. Um, and Pulse to round up the back row because Pulse. I'll have to destroy any card in the field by banishing two field spells. And this deck overall recycles them really quickly. You can also banish the tree and monsters as well. So, is this a big brain deck? Yes, kind of. I would say kind of. I don't think it's the most big brain, biggest brain deck out there, but it is pretty big brain because you gotta know resource management. If you can't manage the resources, you're gonna struggle with this deck. Or, you look at these monsters and you say, I don't know what to do with them. And I don't know how to use them, you're going to struggle. Now, as far as what to search with your cruiser, it's situational. It depends on what the situation is. If you feel that they are um, running some back row that you need to pop off, then you may want to search master or face down monster that you may want to pop off. You may want to search master. If you want to continue boosting up your monster's attack, then you want to search dancer. It really depends on the situation. Sometimes you want to search hunter. Just to have a follow up play. You know, where you can send the two monsters back on the field. You want to swarm the board as quickly as possible with this stuff. And maintain control throughout the duel. Alright? In the extra draft, we really don't need any monsters. Uh, because we don't run any. Uh, tuners. So that's pretty self explanatory. Also, uh, you may ask, well, why don't we play Cosmic Cycle? Why don't we play Econ and what Legacy? Is it is a, is a back row card? The answer is we're playing balance. And we want we need to guarantee that field spell so we cannot run those cards in the deck. No space. Alright? And drowning's not good because we want to keep monsters on the field. Okay? Very simple. If you do not have your wall, I've done very well with wall disruption. Wall disruption could also work as well. Alright? So I'm gonna show you guys a few quick replays. Um and then we can go on.
summer matches that face, he plays against Ancient Gears. He faced multiple Ancient Gear players. Uh, the best way I can tell you to play them is you really don't want to get double, you really got to hope they don't have double strike one because you really need to um, floodgate their reactor or if you cannot hear the reactor, then the best way to deal with that is to master it on their next turn. He's master and get rid of it. Because more than likely by turn 2 or 3 you won't be boosted up to 3,000 to be able to deal with it. This one I actually have the replay for. This is a U-Bell player. And we crushed this matchup. Well, I wouldn't say crushed. He was a good player. But we managed to play around him and outplay him. Okay. So I'm going to show you the U-Bell replay.
hit master and she just didn't get it back with Fortress. So that just means she also has to gain extra advantage. And we can have the chance to go on that a little bit longer. So he searches Fortress. Now, very important, when he activates Fortress before it resolves, it's just an audience. Over my face. You did exactly what I thought you'd do. So use Fortress. Get rid of that. And we want to have multiple cards. Because we want to force out. If he had a treacherous, I wanted to force it out. And that's very important. Because this is why we first managed it. Draw. Hope you're ready. While also getting King Gollum. Now. Before the, we continue on, I, I want to bring this up. Spell. We could have kept, we could have gotten another fortress. That way, we had kept because it's protected against it. But at the same time, I was kind of worried about drowning, so I didn't want to attack into a drowning hero fortress. So I just let, let it. Begin. I just decided to make this play instead. Activates. My monster's effect activates. And gets his answer on the field. Oh, he didn't have a double check one. I think he had the action in him. That's what I was thinking, and I was right on the lead. So, I made the lead that he had the action in him. Blood gate trap on. Now he can't do anything, and he's pissed it up. So, even if he summoned another reactor, if he summoned another reactor, it would have been a bit of an issue because he had, um,. Gear Town out. If he could, if he had to destroy his Gear Town to get another reaction, we might have been okay anyway because we might have been able to just bump up our monsters enough to be able to deal with reactor dragons. So that's good. And then the last duel here against Master of Destiny. This deck can deal with Master of Destiny pretty well as long as you don't get positive attack wrong a million times. So we draw a floodgate, we draw a hole, we instantly summon on a uh, hunter, we bar it another cruiser, just to get field plus in your hand, any field plus. Oh no, excuse me, this wasn't, this wasn't half the destiny, I'm so sorry. This was, um, the Nino. So, Bloodgate and Canadia are really good against the mirror. That's what you want to do. You want to keep Bloodgating and Canadia and monsters. Trex is okay. You just got to be careful that they don't have Pulse on the field. I mean not Pulse. That they don't have Fortress on the field first. Because then they'll protect your, um, their monsters. Also, if you have Fortress out, that will protect their monsters. So be careful with that. You really want to use Bloodgate and Canadia. And maybe call because call can be great. I said you did exactly Ma what I again, thought like you'd do. Again, like I said, maintain, maintain the ball. You did exactly what I thought you'd do. My I you want my to turn. Keep, you want to continue Draw. to keep control of the wheel. Very important. Alright, should we go for the back row? Because I read it first. So, very smart. You try to accept the answer. Smart play on this one. So we swing on, we swing into his game zone, and we stop that thing. Now we can use all well now. the special summon our hunts in the graveyard, swarm even more, get another cruiser, and then master searches our fortress so we're protected against threats of shadows. My field I end my turn to make my move. My monster's effect activates. Got rid of his drowning, let that out. So he floodgates. I use my face down card. And master, which I'm completely okay with. Now we can recover our second master from the graveyard. And now we can I draw. I end my turn. Now we top that mode. Now we Normal Hunter, he flips up Pulse, destroy our Field Spell, which is a good play on his gear. 
Never get the rest of you. Try and always think out your plays. I shall find out. Just for my So we use his call. So I can ask him, which is completely fine. My continuous path activates. And then we pull up his call, and then he's good. So again, we maintain control throughout the duel, which is extremely important if you want to play this dash effectively. Alright? So. With Tiamat, you want to play this deck as effectively as possible, and the best way to play it is to maintain control of the duel. You know, like I said, um, the best way you're going to deal with decks like Ancient Gears, you really got to get the floodgate on that reactor or Kanadi and then destroy it, so that way you can gain control back of the duel. Eventually, they'll run down of resources, so that will be good for you. Alright, so, oh, I wanted to give one shout out to my boy Steven Freshy, brother, he did really well last night, uh, top board in GX Team Games this tournament, he did extremely well, again, he keeps showing the world the power of the Noble Knights, he does fantastic, best player I've seen with the